Seniors are telling me that they're receiving two to eight boxes of COVID tests at a time, and they're furious because Medicare keeps using our tax money to pay these mysterious labs that are based all over the country. We don't need these. We don't want them, and it's outrageous. Yet Ronnie and Don Goodhart keep receiving these COVID-19 testing kits in the mail from a mysterious lab in Illinois. So I called the number and it's basically just a voicemail. I don't want them anymore. Then about two or three weeks later, I get another shipment, which I write refused and gave it to the mailman. And then about a week after that, another package came with a different name with this address and this unit. What really makes her mad? And then we both got our Medicare summary and we were appalled, appalled how much money they charged. Medicare has yeah. paid hundreds of dollars for their unwanted test and right. that only tells part of the story. I found a growing number of Bay Area seniors are dealing with the same nonsense. Maria Nichols is one of them. She tells me she received 30 boxes last year. First time I stopped, and I told them I was going to report them to the Medicare to stop sending. And I got a new set last week of eight again from a completely different lab. The expiration day is very short. It's like two months or so. So I have to take it to Walgreens to dispose of because my but my closet was full of tests. One of the labs that sent tests to Maria, Cypher Labs in Illinois, is the same lab that sent tests to Ronnie and Dawn. I found that it has an F rating with the BBB and numerous complaints about unwanted tests from Medicare recipients from across the country. I called the company to find out why. To opt out of this program, please text your CG number. Or Clearly, they're aware some people don't want their tests. I'm reaching out to Medicare and federal representatives to find out why these companies aren't being held accountable and to pass along this message. There should be a check and balance system when they submit payments. Now, I'm sure this is a very small amount of charge for Medicare, but it's wrong. It's almost $200 for nothing. Many of these seniors tell me that they complain to Medicare and that they ask them to not cover any future testing kits, yet Medicare keeps paying. And that's why I'm going to keep investigating and seeking the accountability. Which we're counting on because this sounds ridiculous. And I, I'm curious though, if you get one of these tests, is it safe? Is it legitimate? Can you use it? Can you count on it? Well, some of the seniors that I've spoken with tell me that they give them away to friends and neighbors. Some have destroyed them, while others have looked at these tests and say that they look pretty legit. Some of them look kind of shady. And consumer advocates tell me it's best to throw them out and make sure that you're using FDA-approved tests because you didn't order them, you don't know where they came from. This story is crazy. I hope you stay on it. I'm interested in the follow-up. Thanks, Shannon.